All right, greetings and salutations. Welcome to the Crypto Truth, where I give you the truth as I see it. We're going to go ahead and get started with this uh, crypto quickie here. All right, world's largest central bank extends digital currency test till 2022. Um, they're going to be doing digital testing for a while, and they're going to actually probably, I'm, I guarantee it, they're going to implement it before the end of 2021. So um, I'm not really sure what their uh, holdup is, but Sweden Rick Spain said that it will continue work with Accenture, uh, with Accenture on a potential e-corona digital currency until next year. Uh, we all know it's coming out, so I don't even know why they're testing it. Uh, Bitcoin selling at 36% premium in Nigeria. I told you guys this was going to happen. Um, every government needs to understand the more you start squeezing people, the more you, the more you hold on tight, the worse things are going to get, the more you're going to lose control. Um, this is, this happened in every, every aspect of, 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 um, of, um, of science, you know, of, of physics. Uh, it's just a thing. Um, Dash invest in a crypto trading, uh, platform. So I haven't heard about Dash in a while. I last remember I heard about Dash it was um, over in South uh, America, I believe it was, want to say Venezuela, um, but uh, I'm not sure. But keep a lookout on for that. Uh, according to Cardano, uh, the Mary Hart Fork will go live on Mainnet uh, on the 1st of March. So if you guys are looking forward to that, uh, Cardano is moving forward. Cardano founder says Bitcoin will die the minute an altcoin flips it. We all know that Charles Hoskinson um, is not really a big, huge fan on uh, of of Bitcoin, he believes that uh, Bitcoin um, is is slow, which it is. Um, it's not as scalable, which is not. So um, yeah, he has some he has some great points. We all know that he's the biggest fan of his own project, and uh, he does have uh, some deep rooted uh, positions, I should say, across the world. So he's a smart guy. Harvest launches new iFirm. Uh, vault allowing users to earn while leveraging the tokens as collateral. Be on the lookout for that. Uh, Osprey Osprey Bitcoin Trust begins trading on the OTC market. There's been a lot of trading on uh, over over the counter market, so uh, be on the lookout for that. Bitfinance adds Tezos as collateral on Loan Portal. Tron plans to expand its DeFi economy with 10 million uh, global hackathons. Bitcoin mining farms in Texas offline from winter storm. We all know, uh, for many of you guys who don't know, over here in the United States, we're uh, experiencing a crazy winter uh, winter storm. Uh, that really happened over here in Florida, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Bitcoin, uh, excuse me, uh, Coinbase launches waitlist for Ethereum 2.0 staking reward. So be on the lookout for that with Coinbase. Coinbase needs to do whatever it can to actually um, to keep its uh, users, they're, they're losing them uh, by the day. MicroStrategy plans to raise $600 million to buy more Bitcoin. For some of you guys out there that don't realize that Bitcoin is where it's at or that's what the game is right now, I am sorry for your um, misunderstanding or sorry for your luck that you don't even understand what's happening right now, which we're going to find out um, in, a, in a second. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. Um, Elon Musk and Binance CEO discuss development of Mars Coin. I want y'all to look into Mars Coin uh, just a little bit, just on my own. Make sure you guys do your own research. I always tell you guys that it's going to be. Uh, I think that's very interesting. I don't know. I don't know what merit it's going to have, but I'm going to look into it. So be on the lookout for that. Head head of St. Louis Fed says Bitcoin not a challenge to U.S. dollars global dominance. Are you are you serious right now? Are you are you serious? After everything that's been going on and everything in the financial markets, then the dollar, the value of the dollar has been plummeting. And this guy is saying that uh, it's not a challenge to its global dominance. You, mm, how should I say this uh, without being mean? I don't, I really, I really don't like um, discouraging or, or, or talking bad about supposedly educated people, but there's something called common sense and I don't think this guy really has it, but in a way, it is what it is. We're always going to have people like this, uh, and this is one of the reasons why America is going to continue falling behind because we have, you know, a lack of understanding, a lack of education of what's really going on across the world. Uh, people have to understand that the United States is not the end-all, be-all. It's not. 
okay? It's, it, it's a country. It's a great country. I live in this country, but it's not the end-all, be-all. All right, moving on, market. Right now, we're looking at $1 trillion, $500 billion. Uh, we have uh, Bitcoin's uh, dominance at 61.9%. Uh, we're looking at Bitcoin is hovering around $51,500, which is great. We have a few. Uh, the market is going a little bit sideways, uh, a little bit up, not, not that much up, obviously, um, with Bitcoin gaining a little bit more dominance and also increasing. Uh, we know that we know that that's going to happen with some of the altcoins. So, but there are some bright spots here. Pancake swap, because we like swapping those pancakes, is up 31%, up 36%. IOST is up 23%, up 55%. Venus is up 14%, up 28%. Energy Web Token is up 12%, up 42%. Horizon is up 11%, up 53%. And Decred is up 16%, up 42%. And that is our crypto quickie for the day. You guys have a wonderful day. And um, make sure, make sure, make sure. I tell you guys all the time, I keep saying it every single video. Do your own research. Please do your own research. And then last but not least, stay safe out there.